haven't mentioned any letters or emails up to this point, so we're going to mention some folks right now. And uh, we've been out and about shopping for glasses and uh, getting tires on cars and that type of stuff. And so we want to make mention of some people that came up and said hi to us and let us know how much they're enjoying our program. We met Joe at Lens Crafters at the Vancouver Mall, and uh, he told us how much he enjoyed our program. We also met Parker at Costco. Um, there again, you were looking at eyeglasses at Costco, and we ran into Parker. And then we were down getting some tires for my mom and my sister's cars, and we ran into a gentleman by the name of Glenn at the Les Schwab in Hazeldale. And we just want to thank all of you folks for coming up to us and letting us know that you're watching our program. It means a lot to us. And also I want to mention that we received an email from Lorna in Vancouver and an email from Ray and Carol in Vancouver telling us that our program is a blessing to them. And uh, we'll have some more emails and letters to talk about later. Well, folks, here we are. Time for the devotional thought again this week. We trust that you're enjoying the program so far and uh, that you enjoyed our first-timers, Bev and Bill Millis, on our program today. And I want to tell you the story of Farmer Andy. Farmer Andy had a weather vane on top of his barn. And he had written on the, word, on the weather vane these words, God is love. Farmer Andy had some of his friends ask him, Why in the world would you write that God is love on your weather vane? And he simply told them, This reminds me that no matter which way the wind blows, God is love. You see, the warm south wind, when it blows, it's soothing and balmy breeze, and it brings the showers, then I know God is love. And he used this scripture verse as he was talking to his friend uh, in the book of James, chapter 1 and verse 17. Every good gift and perfect gift is from above. And then he said, when the cold north wind of trials and testings sweep down, I know that God is love. And he also had a memory verse for this, which was in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 28, which reads, All things work together for good to those who love God. And then he went on to tell his friend, When the west wind blows, the hard and punishing intent, God is love. And again, he used another scripture verse, which comes from Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 6. Whom the Lord loves, he chastens. And then he also said, when the east winds threaten to sweep away all that we have, we need to remember that God is love. In Philippians chapter 4 and verse 19, we read these words. God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory. So he made the remark to his friend, when you feel discouraged and downhearted, just remember, no matter which way the wind blows, from the south, from the north, from the west, or from the east, remember that God still loves you. Thank you.